Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Witness Mutaga. I'm a businessman, a property investor, as well as the author of this book, It's More Than Just Money, A Guide to Escaping the Red Race and Building Generational Wealth. Now, I want to talk to you about money. What is it and how can you make your own money? Because in this world that we live in, we have to understand that uh, money literally does make the world go round. And there isn't anything that you can do that is uh, big that would not require a certain amount of money. Whether you're doing it uh, with your own money or doing it uh, with somebody else's money, there will be some sort of money that's required uh, for you to do what you want to do. So I'm in my office in Johannesburg, South Africa. And I thought, let me have this conversation with you, especially if you're a young person starting out in your career, wanting to understand what money is. I know schools do not teach about money uh, per se. You know, um, everything that we've learned about money, most of the time we have to learn on our own. But uh, a basic basic definition of money that we learned at school was that money is 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 a medium of exchange. So you, you have to have money to get something from someone. So basically in the, in the olden days, uh, for people to exchange goods and services, they had to do what we call butter trading, right? So if I had a cow and I wanted to have crops, I would then have to give you my cow and you give me crops. But the problem would be, what if you do not want the cow? You want something else. Then you'd have to trade the cow for something else that you wanted. Maybe you wanted a bag of mangoes. Uh, it's just an example. Or you wanted bananas or apples. So you'd have to... Uh, swap that for uh, for for the cow. Now, there's something else that you need to understand about money. Uh, apart from it just being a medium of exchange, uh, it is a way of living. And for you to get more of it, there has to be a certain amount of value that you give because really the butter system was more about value, right? What is the value of the thing that you are going to give me so that I give you something else that you are looking for? So like, for instance, if you want cows, right? Uh, and and I'm looking for corn, uh, for instance, that you've harvested, right? The value of the cow that I'm giving you has to be equivalent to the value of the corn that you are giving me. So it's not just going to be uh, you giving me uh, the corn and I accept it uh, just like that. We have to determine what the value of it is also in comparison to the value of the cow that you're going to get. So the important thing is that um, the, you and I have to understand what value is in relation to money. right? If you want to make uh, a lot of money, first you have to ask yourself what is the value that you are bringing into the marketplace. right? For your boss to pay you a salary, uh, an exchange has to take place. Your boss is looking for you to do certain amount of work uh, and do it in a certain way in order for him to pay you a certain amount of money. That in, in and of itself is an exchange, right? You are exchanging your skills, your services for a certain amount of money. Now, the amount of money you get paid, right, will always depend on the amount of value that you bring to your boss or you bring to the table. So if I've got a client, right, and I want to charge the client 100,000 rands or a million, right, the value that I bring to the client will determine whether the client is going to accept uh, my proposition to charge the client 100,000 or a million, right? So everything will always boil down to what value are you bringing to, your, to the table. Right. So with me chatting to you now, I'm saying, right. So I'm, I'm, I, for instance, wrote this book. I wrote it for the marketplace. It's a best selling book. It's more than just money, a guide to escaping the red race and building generational wealth. Although I'm a property investor, although I'm a businessman, I'm also an author, right? This book is 275 rands, uh, uh, per copy, right? So that is the value of the book. It costs. 275 rand for somebody to buy it but remember for you to buy this book you must believe that it is worth that much now there are plenty of books that are 275 and there are plenty more that are more than that right and there are others that are 100 bucks right it all depends on the value that you as the consumer or the purchaser or the reader have placed on the book i put a price to it i said it's 275 rand 
thousands of people have bought the book because they found value in the information that is in the book. So meaning what is more valuable to them uh, is the information that they find in the book, not the 275 that they pay for it. So they find more value in paying for the book than they do in holding on to the 275. Now, I'm in the rental space as well, property rental space. Now, our units go uh, for anything between 2,000 rands to 6,000 rands. Now, depending on the size of the unit that you're looking for, and whether it's a spatula apartment, a one-bedroom apartment, two-bedroom apartment, uh, you will decide to either pay 2,000 rands, 4,000 rands, or 6,000 rands. But all of that is determined by how much value you see in the unit that you're looking for. Maybe if you're a family man, you've got one kid, uh, and you've got a wife, you will decide that you're going to uh, live rather in a two-bedroom apartment because then you would sleep in the main bedroom and your kid will sleep in the guest, well, it's not a guest bedroom, in the other bedroom, right? And then you've got apart apartments that have three bedrooms, right? You'll have the main bedroom, uh, the second bedroom, which would be for your child, and the other one, which would be a guest bedroom. Now, based on that, right, each of those apartments will come at different prices, right? The one that offers more value will be less, will be more expensive than the one that is less valuable in terms of the things that are offered with that apartment. Now, also, by virtue of what I'm saying, there are certain apartments, even if they are one bedroom, they could be more expensive than three bedroom apartments because of the location where they are, where they are situated, the area where they are situated. All of that is value. Now, the biggest question will always be, What's your value that you bring to the marketplace? Why should someone take their money and give it to you? What sort of value are you providing to them? What problems are you solving for those people in order for them to pay you? Now, the biggest question is, what is money? Money is a medium of exchange. Now, what are we exchanging? We're exchanging value, right? You need something from me and I need something else from someone else. And instead of taking what you are giving me, I rather say to you, give me money, which is the equivalent value of what I'm giving you. And I take that money, I go buy something else that I think is more valuable to me, right? So it's important for us to understand what our own value is, you know, be it in the marketplace, be it in, 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 in our relationships with people, we've got to know what value we are adding. And especially if that value comes to us getting money from those people specifically, right? Be it those people are consumers, our partners in the business, or investors in our businesses. There's got to be some value that you're providing so that those people see it fit to give you money. Now, the biggest question is, do you know what your value is? Do you know what value you're bringing into the marketplace? Do you know what value you're bringing into the business that you're starting? Now, I've got to bounce. Remember to subscribe, click on the notifications button. Let me know what your thoughts are you know, concerning money and how it should be made. I think the amount of money you make will always be tied to the value that you bring into the marketplace. All right, guys, peace out.